We're coming to you live from Tombstone, Arizona. It's sold out Chimera Stadium. This is global warming at its finest, folks. It's a scorching 116 degrees today, but thankfully, it's a dry heat. Today's matchup is gonna be complete mayhem. The teams are taking the field. The Los Scandalous Dam take on the Cardinal Sins. Welcome to NFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. If the sound of a torn Achilles followed by laughter and taunting brings a smile to your face, you are tuned to the right place. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitzrow and the MFL crew is coming to you live on game day. Bricks, any uh, thoughts on today's game? Um, I thought I had one, but uh, I think I might have forgotten it. Oh, I remember. Uh, I forgot who's playing today. Careful what you ask for, Grim. And it's first and ten. And he's off to the races. Here comes the defense. Catch the ball, get the first down, and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. It's first and ten. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I'll bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim. But my watch is a bit slow. And it's first and ten. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. Straight through the uprights. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Threads. Their marketing team hates it. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot Sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I don't have so much money on him. Not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. You know this berserk dirty trick ain't fair to the QB. It's like he's fighting. Boom to the moon. Another loser fights the dust. In the NFL, winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. That's a good point, Grim. Touchdown! <laughs> Remind me of a lap dance I had by a skeleton once. Oh, yeah, after the main hit ball, that club six feet under. Yeah, my wife could smell the bone there on me when I got home. Big trouble! Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Yeah, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. It's 
first and ten. First down. Give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. And it's first and ten. Well, it looks like he wanted to run before he caught it. You got to keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You got to make that catch. Second down and ten. The chain's moving. That was beautiful. And it's first and ten. Second down in a very lot. This guy's going to get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game. Third down and long. it a catch though let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out and it's first and ten and he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point and a well-placed cleat second down and more than the QB would like Quarterback can be hurting or dead. Third down in forever. He picks up nine yards on that catch. And this field goal is certainly within the kicker's range. He's got the distance, and the kick is good! The teams are lined up for the kickoff. They're going to be able to return this one. First and ten. Yeah, man, I was hanging on the now. You know what happened? Second down and a lot. Third down and 
The punter is warming up. Defense goes more speed. And the defender. Oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have to meet at the dice, Grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. That's the end of quarter one. Well, the good news is there's still time to make it a game. And there's still time to get a beer. Well, sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. He's got the ball now and is going to try. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. And it's first and ten. Pass and catch for three. The receiver needs to break some tackles. Second down and seven. That's a killer. It was right there, and then he dropped it. Oh, this scumbag is killing me in the fantasy league. And they'll bring up third down and seven. Oh, he probably thought it was an earthquake. I bet he wishes he was right. In between being digested, that is. punting unit you know punters really do know how to party bricks yeah oh yeah i have pictures that uh well maybe actually shouldn't discuss this they let the punt drop and it will be down by the defense and it's first and ten and he rumbles for nine on that play And that'll bring up second and one. They go to the ground game and pick up the first. Nicely done. And it's first and ten. First down and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. And it's first and ten. He is fighting for every yard. And then Cats will give them a first down. I don't know if they're his, but he sure has a good set of hands. First down and six. Well, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Catch the ball, asshole. Second down and six. And that's just a great run for a touchdown. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It's good. <laughs> They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. First and ten. He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. Second down and ten. And he reels that one. 
one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. And it's first and ten. And he was steering a pick six, but dropped the interception. And it's why he's on defense, schmuck. Second down and ten. Nice run for five yards. Third down and five. And into the end zone for a touchdown. Once he got his hands on that pass, he was off to the races. No, why go for one when you can go for two? It's always been my philosophy, but Bricks can't even get one. Oh, you're talking about points. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. And it's first and ten. Shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> the kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. First and ten. He picks up five on that play. Second down and five. That pass was way off target, but I'm pretty sure the QB will blame the receiver as he always does. Third down and five. Just some good old downhill running there as he picks up the first down. The quarterback calls a timeout to stop the clock. They have two left. And it's first and ten. One timeout left. Ah, that's okay, Grim. Thank you that line. That's uh that's nice, Bricks. But our timeouts are for our sponsors, and we need money more than they do. And that's a sack. Speaking of sacks, has anybody seen my powder? I'm itching like crazy over here. <laughs> 
That's it. That's their last time out. It's them against the other team and the clock. Well, that doesn't seem fair. I'm going to throw a hammer on the field and even the odds. Oh, he almost broke that one wide open. Hey, speaking of breaking one wide open, who's sitting on the oil? The defense calls timeout. He must be trying to get on their QB's good side. And they'll line up for the punt here. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get a return. He's got, oh man, I can take death and dismemberment, but that was, that was really just gross. First and ten. I hope you covered your ears, Bricks. They could not connect on that play. Second down and ten. Quarterback, they have one left. Third down, and well, good luck. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he. And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the Halftime Show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Frankenfood you'll have fun trying to identify. Well, the third quarter coming up. Bricks, this game has been a hot mess so far. Yeah, kind of like the morning after eating hot chicken wings. It's a hot mess on the exit ramp, if you know what I mean. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. Ouch! What is this, Annie's wrestling? And it's first and ten. When I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the third set of hands he's had shown on today. Looks like it's a good fit. And it's first and ten. Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it too. Second down and ten. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. First down and one. The defense didn't give an inch. No gain on that play. And that'll bring up second and one. And he 
rumbles into the end zone for the score. I hope he's not gonna dance now. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sitters then. Straight through the uprights. <laughs> the best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. with the brain scrambler. And it's first and ten. several occasions not surprising multiple times on each occasion not surprising and trust me that hit was worse and he put all of his foot into that one and he snags the punt and looks for open field I had a thought thing. boom and it's first and ten First down. See if they can get something going here. And it's first and ten. No, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Get the ball, asshole. Hey, asshole, up here. Talk to the you. And the defense puts one over on the quarterback with a sticky ball dirty trick. The only thing the QB can do now is run for his life. Or die. Third down and long. Butterfingers, he should have had that one. No, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. And he got it off. That's a decent punt. And he's got a chance for a good return here. Defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pad, Grim. You're right. And it's first and ten. First down. And the running game opens up for them and allows the passing game to be more of a threat. Got to keep them guessing. And it's first and ten. Oh, 
second down, and we've got to pick up at least. Yeah. Matt the one feet dirty brick. Look at him go. It's the flash in the moment. And he finds open spaces running toward the end zone. Turn on your jets, you son of a bitch. <laughs> First and ten. He scores! He earned those points on the heels of an epic run. Nah, don't call things epic, Grim. Kids aren't gonna think you're cool no matter what you do. Junior, I don't want kids to think I'm cool. point attempt. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. Turner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? Now, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably grabbed his pants. And it's first and ten. I've seen this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. And it's first and ten. And that brings us to the end of the third quarter. They'll need to fire on all cylinders to make a comeback in the final quarter. And it's first and ten. First down. Give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. And it's first and ten. Running like a that run is good for nine yards. And that'll bring up second and one. Oh, what the brutal hit! Hey man, nobody can touch me when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about? First down and one. Touchdown! Oh, he ran through those defenders like a greased turkey. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. First and ten. Oh, man, he just 
laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're gonna hit a guy that hard, you should at least kill him. Do him a favor. Finish him. And that'll be second down and four. Nicely done for a first down. Huh. I didn't know that was a penalty. Yeah, these rule changes are ruining the game, Grim. Second down and long. And the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. One potato, two potato, three potato, four. The defense just blew up a player who thought he was going to score. <laughs> oh, that hot potato dirty trick gets him every time. Third down and five. Remember, folks, in the NFL, you are allowed to touch the quarterback, just like that. I'm a unscalable sellout. I am a hell of a sellout. If they don't pick it up here, they are giving a gift to the defense. Uh, if I was that QB, I'd be pissed. And this rip is definitely on the take. That was a bogus penalty. <laughs> they are going for it. Defense says enough of this BS and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. First and ten. He broke free and has open field in front of him. And it's first and ten. The quarterback goes down. Zoom on his face. I want to see if he's crying. Second down and more than the QB would like. He had it for a second there. Third down and the punter is warming up. And that player has one speed. His cleats are caked in blood and guts and he's looking to score. kind of familiar. Yeah, he was in that 80s band. Men without hats, remember? We can dance if we wanna. Not bad for a guy 100 years old. <laughs> He's aged better than Keith Richards. <laughs> now there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called straight through the uprights. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. Oh, that's a vicious hit. And the crowd loves it. Just... The offense is running low on blockers. They have only two left. If they lose another, it's game over. And it's first and ten. If you don't hear it coming, it'll knock you right on your ass. It's called a sonic blast dirty trip. Man, what a hit that was. And it's first and ten. Oh, he's going 
berserk. The ball carrier better watch out. Cause and the NFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8. The greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest hits? Where? He's at the 20. The 10. The offense is running low on quarterbacks. They have only two left. They might consider running the ball more. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. Oh, with a punishing hit. The offense goes into their two-minute drill. What the hell is that? It's the same thing as a hurry-up offense, you moron. And he takes a timeout here. They have two left. I wonder if he has a plan. Well, maybe he's just going to take the teeth out of the back of his neck that have been stuck there since the opening play. You can't keep a good mutant. Caught for the first down. And it's first and ten. And the offense quickly calls their second timeout. That's how you do it. Do what? The quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Aren't we all, Grim? Aren't we all? Oh, and did he just put on a display there? Touchdown! Chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It's good. The onside kick is a desperation play, but it's their only chance at this point to steal a possession. Stealing ain't right, Glenn. It just ain't right. And he's off to the races. The 20. He's at the 10. He scores! Well, some would argue that demons don't have a place in this league, but with moves like that, <laughs> I have to disagree. Uh, you're just saying that because he'd rip your face off and use it for bookbinding. I don't see how that's not a valid reason. The burn returner was killed on that play. The coach will replace him with another player. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double step burrito from Taco Hell. They'll be going onside here, and the return team is ready for it. No surprises here. First and ten. A good run for five yards. Hey, didn't move the changes, Scott, did it? How good can it be? And that's the last time out. The D has to either break the clock or the offense if they want to win. Hey, as long as something gets broke, right? Second down and five. like an old guy looking for a bathroom. First down.
And it's first and ten. scared of this guy bricks and they have every right to be yeah he's a murderer the cardinal sins will go home losers today they battled hard but still got their butts handed to them gross i hope there weren't any orc butts involved i kind of like orc butts especially with some dijon mustard and a smoked pickle relish not bad living let's go down to the field and see what the game's mvp thinks of today's outcome hey man hey we don't get on now oh yeah <laughs> Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's game was brought to you by the Hexon Oil Corporation. We drill it, spill it, and kill it so you...